A West Metro middle school teacher has quite the story to tell. And now, to his surprise, his blunt and witty words are resonating with hundreds of thousands of people. Nice crown. Matthew Eicheldinger is home early on this afternoon. The Bloomington dad is getting some extra family time these days on sabbatical from the job he says he was always drawn to. And I look back at everything I had done in high school, like I did soccer camps and the coaches always gave me the little kids and church volunteer work. And I was like, I think I'm just supposed to do this and uh, fell in love with it. Middle school language arts, teaching about books and reading, a struggle he understood. When I was growing up, I was not a reader either. Um, I read mostly Calvin and Hobbes. So he got creative with his incentives. But a lot of other teachers were handing out like candy as an incentive for kids to like uh, answer questions or volunteer. And I didn't have candy and didn't want to. So I came up with the idea of just telling kids stories from my childhood that were funny. If we finished the task early or if we, you know, did well on an assessment altogether, I would tell the story and those really took off. Every time a kid made a good decision, they got to draw a story from a jar, a story from Mr. Ike's past, like the purple grape lady. When my wife and I were in college, uh, this old lady spit on our car at an intersection, and it was really weird and obscure. I took all those stories and I was like, I should probably write them down before I forget them all. And uh, as I was writing them, I thought I could weave them into a book, maybe. He printed out the book. It was a classroom hit soon. Thousands wanted a copy. The curse took more from me in one school year than anyone could have thought. That's when he started the long and arduous journey to get published. Over those 15 years, I received hundreds of rejections. I kept all of them. And, but I include those students in on that entire conversation of, I just sent this to a really famous agent. Now we have to wait three months. And then they're asking for three months. Did you get that email yet? Did you get the email yet? And then finally I can be like, I got the email. It was a big no. And then they're disappointed with me, but then they immediately ask, like, well, what are you going to do next? And that's where I get to show them, you know, some resiliency and uh, persistence is, well, I'm going to write the next one when I get home. Your kids saw you get rejected. Why was that important? You know, I think um, for kids, they need to see that uh, you need to put in a lot of work to accomplish what you want. And it's not all happy either. So I have this goal that I think will work. Then... Finally, in 2023, those kids got to hear some good news. We made a two book deal with Andrews McMeal Publishing. They do all things syndicated. So like Big Nate and you know Garfield, Calvin and Hobbes, which I was the only thing I read. So it was this big so, like full circle moment of, um, you know, this dream that I've had for so long that's also connected to my childhood. He decided to take a three year sabbatical and then another break he never expected. Hello, my name is Matt, I'm a teacher. Hello, my name is Matt, I'm a teacher, and today I want to tell you about Mario. It was the first day of school, and one of my students walked in through the door wearing all Mario merchandise. He talks about how when he let his students truly know him, he got to know them. But I think the Mario that I have in my room, you, is way better. Over the course of the past summer, he went from 100 Instagram followers to a quarter of a million. But some stories should just stand alone. And this is one of them. He shares stories about teaching moments, not about academics, but about character. When really we should just be like Hannah and know that who you are, that's enough. And I hope you know that too. He shares his book progress too. So I'm getting all these messages of kids I haven't seen in 14, 15 years, or like you popped up on my feed and I remember when you used to tell those stories and I can't believe you finally got the book published. And, and those are like pretty heavy emotional moments for me because you just, you know, you don't think 15 years ago that you would be where you are today. And uh, just very thankful for everyone who's been a part of the journey. And he has documented every single one of those helpers. He creates an end of the year drawing for every single class, depicting something funny each kid said. Uh, that is Audrey, and Audrey thought that Disney World was full of spies. That way, Mr. Ike remembers every student, and it's clear they remember him too. The teacher who believed he could and did. So to say like, like I did it is uh, it's pretty cool. Wow.
pretty cool, huh? He, I mean, he's not even my actual teacher, but I'm still learning from him. Yes. Like, his talent, and I'm so glad that he was so persistent, and now, what a big payoff. I know, and he let his kids see the rejection along the way, and not just the end result. Another lesson. It. Yes, we need to have him on the show when he gets the book out. You're welcome back, Mr. Wright.